It's a powerful morning. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Breaking news and talk you can trust. Well, Big Blue fans, the wait is over. The 2022 NFL season is officially here as the New York Giants start training camp today with high hopes and a lot of new faces. One player in particular that is everyone buzzing is offensive lineman Roy Mbaatika. Yes, sir. The Nigerian native is a product of this year's crop from the NFL's International Pathways Program. Beautiful Monday morning. My name is Roy Mbeteka Chibo. I play offensive tackle for the New York Giants. <laughs> I was born in Anambra State in Nigeria. I grew up in a smaller community in the East where it was more like a tight knit neighborhood. And it was tough growing up, but then again, they were, it, had it, it had its moment. They were good times. Ambedica's journey from his roots in Africa to Big Blue and the Big Apple has been nothing short of a fairy tale. Having never played organized football before, Roy's athletic career actually began with a different sport. I started playing basketball when I was 17. And then a friend of mine told me there was this camp called the Uprise. It was hosted by Ejiko Baja. It's, uh, it's a good way to try and come, show your skills. But I was at the point in my life where I wasn't having a hard time. So I couldn't find the funds to get there. I was like, fine, okay, what's the plan? So he said, what we're gonna do, it's a very funny trick. So what we're gonna do is hitch a ride from Lagos to Abuja. Lucky enough, it was this guy who was kind enough to give us a ride. That's how we got to the camp. And I have seen American football, I have seen movies, I've seen clips, I've seen games. I was interested because I saw the brotherhood they had, the way the guys were playing, it was very interesting to me and I, I started playing football from that day. Most of the things we knew how to do playing football was from YouTube. Funny enough, it was from YouTube. They do like demonstrations and then we, we repeat what we see. That's how we've been doing it till OC came along. As fate would have it, Roy would be discovered at that camp by the legendary Giants defensive end and Nigerian native OC Yuminyora. Sacked by OC Yuminyora and he closes it out. And what a difference he has made to this Giant team. Who since his retirement in 2014 has worked in a variety of roles to help grow and implement the NFL's International Pathway Program. OC Yuminyora started the Uprise, serving struggling Nigerian neighborhoods. If you look especially from Western Africa, we're talking about Nigeria specifically, Cameroon, Senegal, you have some of the biggest, most athletic human beings walking the planet, and you have a game here that needs this level of athlete. So it's just a matter of making the connection and just having the ability to give that opportunity to so many other people. I think that was just an inspiration for me, and that was the inspiration for this whole international player pathway. Towards the end of the camp, we did one-on-ones, and that was when I think he got interested. Roy, I gotta be honest with you, Roy was surprising. I liked him. You know, he has the physical size, he has the ability, and he has the mentality. 6'9", six 6'9". Nine, six nine. He's a very smart guy, he's a very focused guy, he's extremely hardworking, very respectful, he's diligent. He picks things up very, very quickly. Following Roy's strong tryout at the Uprise camp, OC would hand select him as one of three African players invited to the NFL's International Combine in London. Oh my God, it was, it was, it was amazing. It made me feel like God, the hard work it wasn't in vain, like it, it meant something. It's someone in that caliber to tell you he sees something in you, it, it's, it means a lot. It really means a lot. So it was myself, uh, Haggai, Chisomin Dumbisi, and Kenny Ogini. We were the three guys who he picked from Nigeria. We did the combine in London before he made the final list of those who were qualified to come to America and do the 10 weeks IPP program. Um, by the grace of God, we were, we were part of it. Hey, hey guys, shout out to everybody at home, Nigeria, IPP, nice. NFL Africa, shout out to Mom, Nigeria, no, they carry last. Oh, no, they carry last. Yeah, so. I keep telling Osi that I felt like I was dreaming. It didn't feel real because 
How do you go from struggling to get people to even see you do anything and now you're bound to come to America all in the space of one year? They understand what this opportunity really is. They understand what it means. They were brought up in, you know, a desperate situation. And so that makes you appreciate things differently. The humility and the respect, you're going to get that up until the day that they're no longer playing. Having never before left his homeland of Nigeria until this last year, Roy would embark on yet another transcontinental journey. When I came to America, the first place I was in is Arizona. Like everything was happening, it was like stacks of blessings. It's almost like I'm in a ride. <laughs> the ride is just taking you to somewhere. You don't even know where it is, it's just going real fast. Right now, we are going to do your hand, arm, and wing measurements. We'll get the day started from there. There you go. Ah. You're right. As soon as it makes contact, you relax. I trained with Charles Bentley for 10, 10 weeks. And I think whatever skill I have now, I owe to the Charles Bentley and his crew because they are the ones who polished. Whatever I came in, they were like, you know what, we got it, we, we take care of you. Like, boom, lock, yes, Just lock it. Back. I'm not mincing my words here. He's by far the most physically advanced athlete that I've worked with at his current stage of growth and development. So that's why you gotta, <laughs> you gotta. They were patient, they took their time, showed me the basics. They believed in me as well. It was, it was amazing. I loved, I loved every moment of it. Hey, yo, Roy. I see you, big daddy. Big dancing bear right there. I see you. And you can't help but get excited about what the future holds for them. There's not a lot of guys that look like that in the world. Sprint through. The most unique aspect of Roy is the nuance that he picks up on. It's been amazing to see how he's grown. How you feeling? Great. Really good. Really, really good. Everybody's doing really good. Everybody's doing their best. Roy continued to shine bright throughout his training in Arizona where he caught the attention of the giant scouts. And his wildest dreams would come true when Big Blue invited him to New Jersey for a tryout, eventually signing him to a contract. I couldn't wait to tell my people, my parents, my mom. When I called her and told her, there was tears, there was prayers, there was tears again. And I feel like that, that right there was one of the moments that I knew that, yeah, I'm doing something really good. He's gonna depart tomorrow to New York City, is it? He's a New York City boy now. <laughs> I'll leave back to New York tomorrow. I guess I start work on Monday. We miss y'all, man. Bro. Yeah. I miss my boys. Bro. Uprise into the world. I'm gonna miss my boys. Bro. God. See. See. Dang, look at you, man. Mr. New York Giants, dog. There's talent worldwide, and I think it's great that the NFL is further in their reach, you know, when it's to the international program, and specifically Big Roy, you know, from Africa. Again, a big, athletic, talented kid that came to our local pro day and he wowed us with his movement skills and he has all the traits he just needs more seasoning and time on task playing the position so we're excited to see what big roy can do here in training camp and when we put the pads on it'll be his first time so we'll see what that looks like but yeah it's, it's still surreal to me man it's still it's still surreal so i'm just thankful for every day because to me every day here is a blessing it's a blessing to say you came from nigeria from pretty much nowhere, being nobody, and all of a sudden you're a giant. You're like, of all this locker, I gotta be on this one. There's a reason for that. Now I gotta do something not to be good. Now I gotta make it to the Super Bowl.